Yes, that's right. We're here at number six, Convent Place, for what the Chief Minister is heralding as extremely good news for Gibraltar. Good evening, Mr. Picado. Uh, higher firepower for the COVID pandemic. Good evening, Christine. Not just higher firepower available to us, but also a hugely important shot in the arm for the economy, a demonstration of the confidence with which the United Kingdom government regards the public finances of Gibraltar and indeed the economy of Gibraltar in these otherwise very difficult times. The UK government is not surely going to guarantee a loan willy-nilly. What are the strings attached? Does Gibraltar have to up its game perhaps on transparency? Or no, I don't think this is a question of strings attached, quite the opposite. This is a demonstration of the work that Gibraltar has done over successive administrations, now coming to the fore, because Gibraltar is regarded as a safe covenant, it's regarded as an economy that will perform when the whole of the rest of the world starts to perform also, and having uh, sufficient strength in its public finances, remember we can go up to 40% of borrowing, to be able to perform against additional drawdown of money, which might represent an additional financial million pounds. This is not a loan. This is the opportunity to take new borrowing or consolidate existing borrowing with a UK sovereign guarantee, which means that the interest that we will pay on any borrowing will be much lower than that which we might commercially obtain. So it's, um, you talk support uh, and confidence the UK government has in Gibraltar. What would you say to people who shudder at the thought of 500 million pound loan of yet another loan. So this is not anything to shudder about, quite the contrary. This is an opportunity to pay less interest in respect of the monies that we already have outstanding and to take a little more if we need to take a little more in respect of new monies that we may need to borrow. The Gibraltar economy has grown hugely. Of course, now it's going to take a knock, but it's going to come back over a period of time and we can sustain the borrowing that we have out there. We can sustain additional borrowing. The opposition, in fact, supported this in March, at, on the 20th of March, when I did the emergency budget, because the headroom is there for us to be able to take this additional borrowing without creating any concern whatsoever. So basically, just to uh, explain it, what, what you're saying is that, that the money that you will borrow now at lower rates will actually uh, wipe away some of the old uh, borrowing at higher rates. So that is one of the options that we have and one of the things that we're looking very closely at and also the ability to take new borrowing if we need to in this time of what is clearly international crisis. The United Kingdom is suffering the worst financial crisis since the Second World War and most economies, if not all economies around the world, are going through that difficulty. We have to recognize that too. In Gibraltar we have none of the income we would usually have but we have other outgoings. The government is now going to also step in to continue to provide additional support to the sectors that are suffering again as a result of the COVID pandemic. We need to have the ability to do that. I said we would have additional firepower. I spoke to Jesse Norman, the Financial Secretary to the Treasury, on the eve of the emergency budget on the 20th of March this year. These are now the provisions being put in place so that we can draw down even further and we would not be getting this support and this guarantee from the British government if they were not satisfied that we would be able to service even the lower rates of borrowing that we would see now now and that we would not be able to service the amounts that we have outstanding. So people can take that as a guarantee also of the strength of the Gibraltar economy and the strength of the public finances of Gibraltar. You say this isn't actually a loan, it's a guarantee, that's why we are here tonight. Uh, but tell me a bit about the loan that you envisage will come with that guarantee and what you'll use it for. What sort of ideas does the government have? So we're negotiating already the terms of the loan facility that will be supported by this guarantee. And it's important that we keep open the options of refinancing some of our existing debt so that we reduce the amount that we pay on an, hourly, on an annual basis. And also that we should be able to look at how we invest new money into our economy to give a boost into our economy. We'll be making announcements about that when the time comes. And indeed, I will lay in Parliament any new loan arrangements that we enter into supported by this £500 million guarantee.